Bush Cruz lead in latest round of a GOP cash race. Okay, there's nothing you can say to that. That's like there's nothing in there, okay? Tales of Terror. Girl reportedly flees Boko Haram. Whatever happened to Boko Haram, the girls who were being uh, kidnapped by the Muslims? Remember Mrs. Uh, Obama did a thing, hashtag get the girls home? Uh, did she ever follow up on that? I don't know. In the midst of the shopping sprees for Yves Saint Laurent to entertain the Chinese guests? Oh, God, it's a war out there. It really is a war zone. It's just a war zone. Let's go to the next website, the Drudge Report. Let's see what my good friend Matthew Drudge has to look at. Let's see. DNC Hillary or nothing. Not interested. New Snowden leaking drone program. Not interested. New Huma email address discovered. The head of Benghazi committee, it'll go nowhere. Trump campaign raises specter of boycotting next debate. I would do that. I suggested it on my show. They probably heard me again. If I were Trump, I wouldn't even go on the debate. What, to be ripped apart by another liberal? Why? What does he need to go for? Look how well he's doing talking to the people without some stooge from uh, from CNN or uh, Fox News. What, does he want to get torn apart by, by long nails, Martha Washington? Don't, Donald. Don't. See what it's like. Let their ratings fall on the garbage. Let's see if Roger Ailes uh, hits his, uh, his bonus without you. Let's see if Murdoch gives his, uh, his, uh, his stooge there, Ailes, a bonus if you don't go on. You'll see how good Martha Washington does. He should teach him that he has the power. President's February-March golf trips and fundraisers cost the taxpayers $4.4 million in travel expenses. Why not? Why not? Then you can come back and talk about global warming and this and that, income inequality, uh, this and that. Obama's February March golf and 4.4 million travel expenses alone. <laughs> golf vacations, what a moron he is. What a lying sicko in the White House. It wouldn't be so bad if he was just a lying sicko who was ineffectual. But he's a lying sicko who's very dangerous because he hates everything that's good in the country. Hates it and tries to destroy it, and he's succeeding. In between golfing, he's destroying the military, destroying the church, destroying the family, destroying schools, destroying the education department. Using the Air Force's official cost estimate of 206000 per hour, the newly released records obtained by Judicial Law show golf outing to Palm Springs, five-hour flight, Chicago, Los Angeles, uh, Palm City, cost eight hundred and four grand just for the plane. Well, you know, what are you going to talk about this? Obama's February trip to Chicago was billed by the uh, uh, White House as a non-political event to declare the Pullman Historic District a <laughs> national monument. But press reports indicate otherwise that the trip was heavily political. He gave Emmanuel a re-election boost is what it was and raised a little money on the side. His visit to Los Angeles began with his appearance on late night comedy. You want to call Jimmy Kimmel funny? Go ahead. And continued a roundtable discussion fundraiser hosted at the Santa Monica home of ICM Partners co-founder Chris Silberman and his wife Julia. The poor guests who were into income redistribution paid up to $33,000 per couple to attend the uh, anti-capital income inequality uh, uh, speech by Obama. And that was the uh, 12th fundraising trip to Los Angeles. Now, his 32nd fundraiser in L.A. County since he became president. That's all. I can read more, but what's the point? You're so used to it by now. In any other country, would have been arrested for this. It would be called insider trading. You know, any other sane nation would have arrested him for this kind of behavior? Michelle Obama's 2014 trip to China cost more than $360,000 in air transportation costs. Judicial Watch uncovered an expensive combination of trips by the Obamas to Africa and Honolulu, which cost taxpayers $15.8 million in flight expenses. The single largest prior known expense for accommodations was for Michelle Obama's side trip to Dublin, Ireland, during the 2013 G8 conference in Belfast, when she and her entourage, I guess it was Oprah Winfrey and friends, booked 30 rooms at the five-star Shelburne Hotel, with the First Lady staying in the 1,500-square-foot Princess Grace Suite at a cost of $3,500 a night. Well, look, if you want to do good for the poor and you want to talk about income inequality, uh, you've got to spend money like this to get the message out. We've got to travel to get the message out. we got to go to Ireland in order to spread the message about income inequality 
and uh, the poverty in America. We had to go as far as Ireland. And Obama had a golf in Ireland, as a matter of fact, and Scotland to spread the message of in income inequality. That's the only way to get the message across. I mean, who is he going to tell it to? The poor homeless people in the streets of New York, San Francisco? No. So he's got to play golf at Balmoral. He's got to play golf at these expensive places in order to reach the millionaires and the billionaires, the pigs, in other words, the pigs who have ruined the world, who golf on such courses. Those are the natural places to go if you want to stop income inequality. You're not going to speak to some broken down bum in the street on Ella Street. No, you know, you're not going to speak to them. So you go to Balmoral. You spend $17 million to get there. And then you understand that you're reaching the right people with the right message. It's like Bernie Sanders. He's also for uh, income inequality re retribution. That's all. As long as it doesn't affect him. Stefan on KSFO, welcome to the program. Hey, how you doing, Bernie? I got a question. Um, I was eating one of your tuna sandwiches that you made me, and I was thinking how smart you are, and I was thinking... Isn't it the white man who caused global warming since he invented all the combustion engines that we're seeing today causing all this global warming? Absolutely. It started with, it started absolutely with, with the, the Volta, developed the Volt. He invented the Volt. Then uh, diesel, you got the diesel engine invented by a, by a white man. Every invention, virtually every invention of civilization is uh, pollute, that pollutes was invented by, by, the, by the white man. And there's only one solution to the problem. And that is not so much to harm the inventor because he's been dead 200 years. No, we have to take it out of his ancestors, his descendants rather. You must find and seek out the, the, the inventor of electricity, the telephone, the telegraph, and hunt them down and make them pay back for what their ancestors did to the atmosphere and the environment. That, then you'll have global uh, retribution, global balance. That's the only solution. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, buddy, you're so smart, buddy. You're yeah, I really like, of all of the Bernie stuff I've did over this week, the best one was the, the Deli Man, where uh, Bernie talks about tongue and pickles. That was my best one, because that's closer to where his mentality is at. Exactly. Uh, okay, you're getting a cop. I know what you're hanging on for. Government Zero, you got it. Who wouldn't want it for free? That's all. 855 for, I don't know the number, but when I come back, when I come back, I'm going to look for some breaking news in order to really ruin your day. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. I'm live. It's Michael Savage back. I have only two and a half, three minutes. Listen to this. So you know I'm obsessed with health issues. I have been all my life. Obsessed. Father, God rest his soul, he's been sleeping since 1970. Grandfather, you know, everyone died young. So I always figured I didn't have that long. You know, when I had young children, I really used to look at them with such sadness. I never thought I'd see them become adults. And I've been very blessed. I have to use the phrase that's true. God has blessed me with longevity so far. I don't know how long, you know, who knows. But I have a grandchild. You know, I've hit all of the numbers that I set out to to achieve in many ways what more i mean what am i going to ask for so but i'm obsessed with my health so I, I get i get blood tests like most men over 40 do 50 who knows when it starts when you start getting worried so i just got my results now i had the blood last week and i just came from my cardiologist he sent it to me i'm going to read it on the air you're not going to believe this because if you had numbers like this they would already check you in for a heart transplant cholesterol total 241 you say oh my god i need to take lipitor right so you say, well, maybe the HDL is good. No, it's horrible. It's a 34. Uh, it, it should be less than, than uh, it should be uh, 40 or above. <laughs> well, how about the triglycerides? Off the charts, 177. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. What about uh, LDL uh, cholesterol calculated? Terrible, 172. It's in a very high range. What about non-HDL cholesterol? It's 207, wrong range. I can go down the list here. I mean, it's a disaster. Any doctor listening knows what I'm talking about here. Risk factor high. You know, you know, nanomolecules are awful. Everything's off. Risk off the charts. It's like red line. Everything is redlining in the airplane. <laughs> According to the data, right? Apolipoprotein B, 139. Off the charts too high. It shows, it shows uh, inflammation. The risk should be less than 80. I'm at 139. Uh, LPA, lipoprotein A. I told you this is the secret. 
it should be less than 75. You can't, you can't affect it. You can't take a drug for it. You can't adjust it with vitamins. My LPA, which should be less than 75, where everything else is wrong, is 24. So what does that tell you? It tells you why I'm living. It tells you that in my case, I have this genetic inheritance from my mother. God rest her soul on the LPA cholesterol. And it's very low. There's nothing anyone could do about it. You can, no matter what vitamins you took, no matter what drugs, you're not going to make yours lower. So, in other words, I can have everything else off. And this is the only explanation I can see, that my mother in heaven gave me this blessing. So it just shows you, don't believe every piece of data and think you're going to drop dead. And don't think because your data is good that you're going to live forever. Have a nice night.